Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm not going to make a big, long video about this. This is my Evolution Classic for golf cart. I've had this for uh, about a year or and a half, maybe, or something like that. I absolutely love this golf cart. It's perfect for going around the neighborhood, um, picking up the kids at school, that sort of thing. And then if there's any events in the neighborhood, it's really nice to be able to take this rather than a car. Uh, so I can just park anywhere I want. And then also I go for hikes near the trail nearby and, and parking is always a, a kind of a pain in the neck. So I'll just take this and, and just park it in wherever I want pretty much, uh, you know, between cars or, or whatnot. It's an awesome golf cart and uh, kind of, I guess, a somewhat budget golf cart as well. I mean, golf carts can get really expensive, so this isn't cheap, <laughs> but um, I'll do a review on it at some point. Today, I wanted to kind of focus on uh, showing you how to upgrade your the stereo in this thing. And I've taken it apart <laughs> just so right before I was about to put it back together, I thought I would kind of um, showcase what, what, what I've done a little bit. I went ahead and replaced the speakers. That, that's a no-brainer. That's very easy to do. I'll post a link to the speakers that I used. I'm not like super impressed by these, but they're much better than the, the, the stock speakers that this thing came with. Um, so that's very easy. Just four screws, you take it out, plug and play. Uh, all speakers essentially fit with the same fitting, essentially, I think. Um, so the other thing is I ended up taking apart the um, the display, the head display. You don't have to do that at all. I actually wanted to do it because I'm thinking of replacing it with like a different Android um, set that will also give me Apple CarPlay. I may lose, um, I may lose um, my speedometer if I do that. I don't know. I think this guy right here is the speedometer Ooh, right there. That one on the left, I think is the speedometer or it could be this one. That last one is my backup camera. Um, I could go through and figure out what all of this stuff is. Yeah, the second one is just the USB, um, which goes right there. And then uh, I believe that's gotta be the speedometer. Uh, I could be wrong. And then all of this is essentially just power and audio and, and, and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, there's two channel audio, so that's four four different uh, wires there. And then um, you got your power and not really sure what else is in that. Could could also be having a, something to do with the speedometer maybe in there, but I have to believe that's what it is. And then this one is uh, for the antenna, but just temporarily unplugged it. Again, you don't need to take this apart. Um, I'm kind of digressing a little bit, but just wanted to kind of make sure you didn't think you have to take that apart. Um, so what you do need to do is you need to find this white and purple connector here. Those are your two, uh, th those are those are your speaker wires that are coming from the head unit that will go to the speaker and it's connected uh, on the other side uh, to the speaker wires, which are, do, 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 do. where are they right now? Right. Over uh, here, nope, not here. <laughs> oh, here, here they are. So that that set goes to the speaker wire. So this is normally connected to this. So what you do is you disconnect them. And I ordered a, a set of these guys on Amazon, kind of soldered them in myself and essentially worked in this pile amp. Now this pile amp is tiny. It doesn't seem like it would do a whole lot, but it actually drives the those speakers pretty okay. Again, none of this is gonna be super impressive. It's a golf cart. If you want um, much better audio, then there is some stuff you can do, meaning just get a box and install it under, maybe install it between the two seats. That's like the perfect spot for a box. I've seen some people put speakers up here um, that sort of thing. I don't want to do that because I take this around the neighborhood here and I just want to listen to some music uh, that has slightly better quality than than what I was uh, listening to before. So um, basically you just put in uh, this amp in line here um, between the two essentially. So this is the input uh, comes in from um, I'm sorry, that's the output. This is the input. 
And it comes with these RCA type jacks. And I just had a piece of like RCA cable that I just soldered the other ends and into one of those connectors. This is the, the this is the only part of it that's a little sloppy because the RCA cable that I had is like super thin uh, pieces of copper coming out of it. And it was really tough to solder. Um, and then anyway, you put it in line. And then it also, what's really cool about this amp is it actually comes with like a volume control um, knob. I'm not gonna turn it on uh, because uh, if I play any music, then my phone will stop. And uh, also music is copyrighted, so then the video will get pulled off of YouTube. But it's, it sounds a lot better. Uh, so I get a lot more bass now out of these speakers than I was getting before. What I did, just for a little background, I actually installed these speakers first to see if the head unit could just drive them. And it actually turned out to be a little worse than the original speakers because the original speakers are lower wattage and the head unit was sufficient for them, but the speakers sucked. These speakers are much better, but they're higher wattage so that the head unit just can't drive them. That's why you need the amp. So there is a little bit of a distortion noise. Um, and I think that's probably because, um, Actually, I have to debug that. Uh, the distortion noise is only there when I'm not playing any music and the volume is high. So I don't know when I would be doing that because if I am if I don't have any music turned on, I'd probably have the volume turned off or the, stereo, the music actually turned off completely. Um, and if the music is playing, then it, I don't hear any distortion in the noise of that at all. So my next step is to just put some double sided tape here and then uh, put it right there. Um, and then tighten the whole thing back up and call it a day. But I'm actually gonna leave my head unit out because I have a head unit coming tomorrow from um, from Amazon that has they can do things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a bunch of other stuff. It'll be super cool if I can somehow replace the head unit with that. Oh, there's that screw that I was missing. I'll have to get that out later. Um, so yeah. Um, that's essentially how you do it. Oh, I forgot one more thing, big thing. Um, <laughs> so the power, the power for the amp comes from these two loose connectors that are actually already here for you. It's number 13 and number 62. They're just sitting here. That gives you 12, uh, 12 uh, volts. And just, just be careful, black goes to black, blue goes to your blue and red. Now, what I've done here is I've actually uh, put my blue and red both together, red is my power and blue is actually for a, like a toggle switch where you can turn it off and on. I might actually install a toggle switch now that I kind of know um, that distortion might might bother me over time. Um, so basically what you want to do is if you don't want a toggle switch, this is how you want to wire it. The blue goes to your blue and red from the amp. Um, that way the switch is always on essentially. And don't worry, it's not going to drain any battery because these two power um, connectors here are actually only live when the when the switch is turned on. So, so now it's turned on. Now, if you wire it backwards, <laughs> this uh, 10 amp fuse here will pop immediately. So maybe if you're gonna do this, order some 10 amp fuses on Amazon. They're super cheap. Um, before you start, because if you burn one out, then you're out a few days uh, or a couple of days maybe. Um, but if you um, if you have them on hand, like I did, I actually had a huge box of them somehow. <laughs> um, and um, I went through three. So just so you know, it, it it's not trivial wiring this thing up for the first time. But now that I've kind of told you what to do, it should be relatively easy. If you have any questions, if you want me to do a more in-depth video telling you exactly which wire goes where, I'm happy to do it. I'd rather not. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is a relatively easy DIY. If you feel comfortable around uh, low voltage electronics, it really helps to have a, you know a, uh, a little multimeter around just to kind of measure your voltages and things like that before you um, before you hook things up. Uh, you don't have to get these. In fact, I kind of regret it. Honestly, it's a little cleaner. It just takes a long time to like wire these in and weld them or uh, solder them and whatnot. You could just splice the cable, the, the wires together and heat shrink them and call it a day. In fact, that may have actually come out a little more um, sturdy 
I'm a little worried that that thin little wire I've got in there is is gonna um, is gonna kind of come out. Um, let's hope that is not the case. But if it is, then what I'll do is I'll take it apart and redo it. Um, but yeah, I, I I wouldn't necessarily do this unless you're kind of like um, really re retentive about that sort of thing. What else can I tell you? Um, yeah, everything works great. Um, other plans for this golf cart? Oh, uh, I've, uh, I'll do a, I'll do a little review of this mirror that I really like. This is actually a Jeep mirror that is meant for like um, the tube doors. I repurposed it and um, put it in here. I put my license plate holder on and I actually bolted it into this uh, tube here, which isn't the cleanest way to do it, but I uh, didn't want to have to buy a separate bracket for that. My next step is to probably uh, fashion a, a, a protection for for the backup camera here. And um, the other thing that I've done is I've actually poked some holes uh, in my ceiling by running into a metal hook the other day. So I'll either have to replace this ceiling, or this roof, which is uh, $500. Or uh, I might uh, actually replace that, uh, I mean, uh, repair it using just kind of some resin and fiberglass and then paint it. I think I'm leading towards that. Um, I've got, also got this mirror here that's kind of aftermarket. Nothing else, I don't think. But yeah, the, the, it, comes out, it comes pretty pimped out already. So it looks pretty badass driving around the neighborhood. A lot of, uh, a lot of thumbs ups. And... Uh, might might also do a, a light bar in the front here. Uh, the lights are actually pretty good, but they're not great. Uh, so a lot of people put like a light bar either at the top right there or down here. Um, anyway, it's getting pretty warty. I'll let you guys uh, rewind and watch the insides of that again if you need to. And if you have questions, post them. If you want a more in-depth video, uh, I might I might be inclined to do that if I get like... 10 comments telling me I need to do it. Cool. Well, have a great rest of your day and uh, tune in again. Click that subscribe button.